Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, as promised, this is the uh, Adidas 2006 released Adidas greatest what was it World Cup's greatest moments line. This is came out in 2006. Um, I got this at a store in Manhattan where I also got the Germany jacket and the Holland jacket. And when I saw these, I had to get them. I'm not Brazilian, but you know. Who doesn't like the Brazilian soccer team or like the players, you know, maybe the Argentinians, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful jacket. I really liked it because it was entirely green with the yellow stripes. Normally you see it's majority yellow with a, either blue or green or blue and green stripes. So this was a, this was a nice uh, change. And then it's got the Chefoil logo there, the word mark, Brazil. And like I said, it's got that like final lecture feeling and then of course the tag on the bottom here and then you know like i said <laughs> they all got these tags on the inside so don't be fooled you don't see those tags on the inside tell the guy you don't want it and then what i love about this jacket the most is the back here all-time greatest so it's a 1970 brazil team that was in mexico that won the world cup it was also Pele's last World Cup win. And it has all those great players. Like Carlos Alberto. But you know how you know um, how to find Pele? It's because if you look at the bottom, most of these guys are wearing Adidas. But Pele, he's a Puma guy. And you can tell by that haircut right there. <laughs> That's Pele. You know, he was like the, the greatest Brazilian ever played the game. Uh, three World Cup winner. And he won when he was 17. And he also won again... When he was uh, like 37 or something like that. I don't know. Something around there. He was definitely older. I still was able to do it. But yeah, this is a classic jacket. And it's like finely embroidered onto the uh, jacket. So you'll never ever see this ever fade away or, you know, deteriorate. And then you have the Brazil 1970. So yeah, this is one of my favorite ones, size medium, because I usually wear medium. And uh, I probably won't ever sell this one. And if I did, I probably wouldn't sell it under $250. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> to me, it's too much of a collector's item to just give away. So if I'm gonna sell it, I will charge top dollar. But uh, that's definitely, it's gonna stay in my closet for a while because I don't really have any intentions on uh selling this beautiful brazil jacket but anyways um like i said that 2006 world cup line they had uh they released 1974 style jackets of all the adidas teams and then they also had a special line which is this uh world cup's greatest moment line so they had like like i said the italian national team jacket they had a, a french one that was in white with uh blue and red pinstripes and on the back said caric magic or something like that uh, you know, England, they had a blue one with like red and white trimming around the collar and cuffs on the back England. Like those are pretty cool jackets, but I ended up just getting this one, Germany and Holland. So like the Holland with the orange and black, you know, I ended up selling that one at, you know, at one point because uh, of the three, I knew it could get me a lot of money. And it was the only one of the three I would be willing to sacrifice over <laughs> You know, rather than sacrifice the Brazil or the Germany uh, jackets. Um, I kind of miss it, but it is what it is. I enjoyed it when I had it, so I'll let someone else enjoy it. Hopefully they're Dutch, you know, they'll really appreciate it. Because uh, I don't buy, you know, I don't buy just my national team. I buy uh, many national teams and many clubs. Well, well, clubs, I just like certain clubs from certain countries. You know, like in Italy, it's Inter Milan. In Spain, it's Real Madrid. And England is Arsenal, like, that's it. I won't buy Manchester, I won't buy... You'd never see me freaking wear Barcelona or anything like that. Or AC Milan, none of those guys. Juve, nope, nope, never. Uh, French League, I don't really care. Uh, Bundesliga, I don't have any teams. I used to have a Stuttgart one of uh, Pavel Pardo. I ended up selling that like an idiot. That's one regret I have. It was the Puma 2006-2007 Stuttgart uniform. And that was the year they won, too. I don't know. I sold it like a dummy, but uh, it was a nice jersey I had. I had the uh, white with the red numbers. It was a cool jersey. I regret selling it. 
But yeah, um, I really love the line that Adidas, you know, with the stuff they were putting out from like 2006 to about 2012, great run. I haven't really been impressed. In 2014, there was a few I liked. Like, I liked the Mexico jacket on that uh, line that they released for the uh, Brazil World Cup, but they did like retro style. So, it was like a Mexico, like 70s style jacket they had that was pretty cool. I got it though. Um, but my favorite line, like I said, 2006 and 2010 when they released, when Adidas did the uh, World Cup, like retro lines, or those are great jackets. Um, I'll do one on the 2010 release because I told you I got the Mexico one. It's like Mexico 86, actually. You know, but the Germany one I wanted so bad at the time because uh, it had the 1990 style. You know, that 1990 pattern on the front was beautiful. And uh, I was going to get it when I picked up the Mexico one, but unfortunately, it didn't have my size. It only had XL and bigger sizes. So I was like, yeah, I guess I'm not going to be able to get that one. So uh, I'll do a video on that one when I get a chance. But this is probably going to be it for, for today. I got some errands to do. But anyway, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoy and take care. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos.